Hey guys, welcome to another episode of The Hyper Man, where we cover the latest Star Citizen news as they drop. Star Citizen Alpha 3.18 recently dropped, and you not only got access to the initial patch notes, but formerly known as Star Citizen Leaks, but the Pipeline Discord channel is able to get access to the game files. So with that, we're going to look into some of the game files to see the actual um some of the details that is actually found there pertaining to some of the gameplay elements that i think will be interesting to see in this video we're going to cover the hints of the salvage mechanic and um it's, it's a long list of files but this video we're going to cover the sub the hints for the salvage mechanic all right before we move forward i'd like to give a shout out to all my patreons and channel members and without any further ado let's get into it in uh, looking at the game files, there are some hints pertaining to the repair beam. So it looks like when you have the repair beam of your salvage tool activated, these are hints that could potentially um, pop up. So it says, uh, I, I believe when you're in repair mode, it says repairing consumes recycled material composite, which can be acquired in shops or by using the salvage beam use the action player weapon reload button to reload the rmc canister or use the weapons change fire mode to toggle between the salvage and the repair mode okay so simple weapons um i believe uh i think it, it might be b to alternate between the modes i think um but i could be wrong to, to alternate between repair and salvage. So that's interesting. So I believe this is pertaining to the the hand tool, the multi-tool uh, salvage mode. Okay, so it says hall restoration. So when you're in the mode to repair it, I think you may get a hint like this. The repair B can particularly repair damage done to a hall as long as the ship or vehicle's shields are deactivated. Another hint that can come is the repair capabilities of the Cambio Light SRT attachment are limited. It won't repair a pristine hull, but a field repair can be the difference between life and death. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so while in repair mode, while in repair mode, use the attack one, I believe that's the left mouse button, to patch a damaged all. Move the beam at a steady pace and target damaged areas. Interesting, interesting. It's looking interesting so far. So now the next one is the salvage beam, right? So when you're in salvage mode instead of repair mode, these are the potential hints that you could get. The Cambio Light SRT attachment converts the scrap into recycled material composites, which can be sold or used to repair damaged hulls. Use the weapon reload button to reload the RMC canister or use the weapon change fire mode to toggle between salvage and repair mode. So that's similar to the other one that we read before. The salvage beam strips ships and vehicle hulls and converts them into recycled material composite. Collected material can be sold or used to repair damaged hulls. And another hint is move the salvage beam across the surface at a steady pace and ensure that the collection of all salvageable material in an area. Another hint is turn various material into recycled material composites and store it in a accompanying canister until it's full. FPS hull scraping with a salvage tool equipped use the attack one button which is probably the left mouse button to salvage a hull. This process weakens the structural integrity of that part of the ship or vehicle. The salvage or repair process is ineffective if the ship or vehicle's shields are active. So it looks like that's all for the salvage hint thus far. If you would like to see more content like this make sure to subscribe for more i will be doing more videos on some of the things that we found there's some interesting ones as well so make sure you do subscribe because i will be dropping these very shortly all right i'll see you on the next one